Okay, this is our red book grammar. So if you are not in red grammar, you need to go back and find your correct grammar video. Um, but this is for red grammar level five. Um, it is March 30th. Um, this is the day that you're supposed to be doing this video. So this week, um, we're only going to be doing sentences and we're going to be doing review sentences so um, this should be pretty simple for you guys you have two different ways that you can do this um, what you can either choose to just do it along with me as I say the sentences you should be saying them at home as well and participating um, or you can pause me now right do all of the sentences yourself and then watch the video to check it okay so um, it's up to you how how you want um, to do these, but I expect that these will be done. They'll be nice and neat, and you remember all of the little, the little things that you need to do um, with grammar. Um, for you, some of the younger students, I will write these up on the board, but you guys can follow along. I feel like um, you can do it visually looking at your paper. Um, so let's start with uh, chapter 22, lesson one, sentences. Um, number one, the huge freight train traveled swiftly along the tracks through our town. Who or what is this sentence about? The sentence is about train. Subject noun. What is being said about train? Train traveled. Verb. How did it travel? Swiftly. Adverb. Along. Preposition. Along what? Tracks. Object of the preposition. The. Article adjective. Through. Preposition. Through what? Town. Object of the preposition. Whose town? Our. Possessive pronoun adjective. What kind of train? Freight. Adjective. What kind of train? Huge. Adjective. The. Article adjective. Now this is interesting, isn't it? Because there were no direct objects, indirect objects, linking verbs, all of those things. So what's going to be happening is you're going to have to pick out which pattern sentence it is. So you have to do some investigation skills. So let's look at that. There's a subject noun, there's a verb. Is there a direct object? No. So we know that this is a subject noun, verb, pattern one. Sentence. What kind of sentence is it? Declarative. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Remember, you don't have to underline the complete subject once and the complete predicate twice. You just need to do um, the dividing mark in between train and traveled. Okay, sentence two. Teresa provided comfort to the soldiers and bandaged the wounds of the injured. Who or what is the sentence about? The sentence is about Teresa, subject noun. What is being said about Teresa? Teresa provided and bandaged. Compound verb, compound verb, and conjunction. Okay, so let's go to provided. Provided what? Comfort, direct object, verb transitive. Bandaged what? Wounds, direct object, verb transitive. So provided and bandaged should be CV-T for a compound verb transitive. <clears throat> okay, to, preposition. To what? Soldiers. Object of the preposition. The, article adjective. Of, preposition. Of what? Injured. Object of the preposition. The, article adjective. What kind of sentence? Declarative. Look at the sentence pattern. We go all the way to a direct object, but not past, so what sentence pattern is that? Subject noun, verb transitive, direct object, pattern two. Okay, go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Sentence three. The types of meats in the freezer are beef, poultry, pork, and venison. Who or what is the sentence about? The sentence is about types. Subject noun. What is being said about types? Types are. Hmm. What kind of verb is that? Linking verb. You're right. Linking verb. Are what? Are beef, poultry, pork, venison. 
So what is that? That's a predicate noun. So they're all a compound predicate noun. So C, P, R, N, C, P, R, N, C, P, R, N, C, P, R, N, and conjunction. Of preposition. Of what? Meets. Object of the preposition. In preposition. In what? Freezer. Object of the preposition. The article adjective. The article adjective. What kind of sentence? Declarative. Subject, sentence pattern. What sentence pattern is this with a linking verb? Subject noun, linking verb, predicate noun, pattern four. Good job. All right, all you have left to do today then is to do your writing journal. Okay, see you tomorrow.